ethical leadership is one that is rallying, bringing people together in an inclusive and fair manner. So it is important that uh, we see ourselves as belonging to society and leading society, taking into account the views of society. And so for me, ethical leadership has to do with rising above one's individual interest and addressing the collective interest of society. So the common good is something that is inherent in ethical uh, leadership. We need strong leaders. When I say strong leaders, I'm not talking of muscular leaders who would ram their way through society, but I'm talking of people who have a vision for society that uphold the uh, principles of the rule of law, human rights, bringing together all of society to be governed in a way that is predictable and beneficial for society. So the rule of law is uh, very important. Ethical leadership has to do with compassion, with equity. We have to learn as leaders to be compassionate, to be understanding of people's interests and concerns, and being able to address these concerns in a coherent and effective uh, manner. I, I could go on and on, but the, uh, at the end of the day, the point I want to make is that we should move away from the notion of a God-given leader from a God-ordained leader to one whose prime motive is to serve the common interest, whose prime motive is to say leadership is a privilege and not a right. And I would like to stress the need for inclusion. I would like to see Globe Ethics move more stringently towards a more inclusive approach, bringing together different stakeholders because uh, when we talk about multilateralism today of course there are many facets but we're talking of a multiplicity of stakeholders and we need to address that and I think that Globe Ethics uh, is well placed to do that and I would like to see Globe Ethics also reach out more to the cultural faith-based communities. These are communities that are not adequately reflected in uh, global governance. I would like to see more of uh, that.